And I would I thought that since uh, this is coming out today at 6 p.m., I would do a quick uh, first impression on it and open it. Now this is the 2024 version. Um, this actually came out in 2022. So some of you have tried it already. And some of you like me, uh, we missed out on that 2022. And uh, so I'm excited to try this and see um, what is it all about. So I will talk about you know what it's supposed to be, uh, what is the whole deal with it being different. And then of course, you know, I'm gonna try it here with you guys and see if, um, how does that hold true or, or if it's something completely different of what it's supposed to be. So I'm gonna pop the tin. <laughs> See what we got here. I'm glad it's one of these easy ones. Oh wow, that's really packed in there. Good. Oh wow, I can already smell the Oriental. So as you can see, man, they they really packed that good in there. It is nice and 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 tight. So I'm gonna get some of it out here, just in case. I don't think it's gonna need any drying time. I can tell you right now. Is um, this is a ready rub there? Hello, Patrick. Um, ready rub is kind of dry. And as you can see, I'll leave it there for a second. We're gonna have here some red Virginias. We're gonna have two types of um, Orientals. Ismir and Basma, and we're gonna have another Oriental, but process, and which we all know as Latakia. And that's something that Jeremy talks about, um, that what he did to make this special was that they took that process after the Latakia is, is processed, and they did a separate process in Cornell deal to kind of make it closely to what that Syria Latakia used to be like. And what they did was um, they took a lot of the soot out of it uh, by by putting under this different process um, at Cornell and Dio. And, and supposedly, you know, that kind of brings out a little more of the Oriental flavor um, and makes it more Balkan. Um, the consensus is that, you know, when you have a Balkan blend, means that it's more oriental flow forward. Uh, it has, in, you know, it has the, what most people see as the English component, which is the Latakia, but it is more oriental forward, and then they call it Balkan versus English. And this one has also the Virginia at a much, um, at a smaller rate. I was, I was hoping I would get this, so you guys can see it. So whoever comes later knows what the heck we're smoking. So let's see. Let's see if I can lower that. There you go. All right. That looks better there. There we go. Thank you, Jim. All right. We're already getting tips. Thank you, Jim. I really appreciate it. My sumo friend. Um, and let's see what we have here. I'm going to try to see if I can get this so that I can um, see who's coming on video. And it usually takes me a little while because for whatever reason, just like you guys get the notifications late, even I get the um, the things for the live here late. So anyway, it'll take me a while, but uh, I can already say uh, Yusuf is there and Jim is there. Um, and I'll say more hi as this thing comes online here because I cannot see I cannot see anything until then. Let me see if I click on this. Uh huh. There you go. All right, here is see. I see Patrick. Smoke snacks. Yes, smoke snack. We've been talking lately. And Daniel Leslie. I haven't seen Daniel in a long time. Thank you, Daniel. I haven't seen you in a while. All right. So I'll catch up with everybody here in a little bit. So, all right. What pipe am I using? All right. So I am using the, uh, I'm going to use this. One of my favorite pipes. This is by Neil Monier. 
He's from Garage Made Pipe Tool. If you just write Garage Made Pipe Tool in Instagram, um, then it'll come up. And, and he does amazing work and, and very, very recently replies everything that he does. It is, it is, it is amazing. Oh, I'm sorry, Yusuf. You, you crack your pipe. How did you crack your pipe? What happened? Tell me. So I'm going to pack it. And as people come in here, you know, I'll kind of show this again uh, and, and repeat whatever I have to say. But the whole point of this is for you guys to ask questions um, about the blend. It, it comes out today at 6 p.m. Eastern time, I'm guessing. So you have to adjust for your time right now here. In the Eastern is 4.43, so in about an hour and 15 minutes, this blend comes out. And uh, let's see if this is something that you may or, or may not like, depending if you if you like the components here of what this is, this has. All right, let me see if my thing refresh already. Nope, no, it's not ready for me to see you guys yet. Son of a gun. It's almost like I'm not sub subscribed to myself. Isn't that crazy? It probably takes me longer than anybody to see when my video comes out. But anyway, eventually it will. So I packed it and let's, let's give it a whirl here and see what we got. I'm gonna use my handy dandy form. Hopefully it's not your LCS. Don't tell me that, that will break my heart. He said, I think he said it was an older pipe. So Jeremy said, Jeremy's the head blender for CND that he's trying to create more of that wine, uh, taste feel to this blend uh, and, and to this uh, Latakia component. This here is a Kiribi lighter. It's one of my favorite lighters and most reliable lighters that I've ever had. So I can already see that the Orientals are the main players here. But I'm happy to see also that I can taste and smell a little bit of the Laraquia, which is my favorite thing. He said it was going to be less smoky, but good Lord, this is plenty of smoky, I think. Troy's in the house. Hello, Troy. Like I said, once I get this on my pad here, I can see you a little better. It's still not, hasn't loaded. Oh, there we go, finally. All right. So Daniel asked, if I had to pick my top three tobaccos, what would they be? Well, I still like Tom Bixby from the uh, from the Country Squire. That is what they used to be called, Old Toby. I still go back to that. I still like... Um, the San Espresso that uh, by Warped, I still go back to that. And uh, I will say there's a tie with the latest one that they came out, the, where is it? I think I have it somewhere there. The Rum Vanilla that just came out 
and the um, give me a second here because I'm getting a note here. Mm -hmm. And Bankside, which I really, really, really enjoyed. Bankside is by GLPs. So before this Rum Vanilla came out, again, I want to give it more time. Um, I will say um, Tom Bixby, Bankside, and um, San, San Expresso in that order. So far, have been my favorite lately. Now the most interesting tobacco, Daniel, that has to go hands down to a Christmas blend um, that is um, Frosty Mint, I think it's called that. I've never thought that a tobacco could could feel in your mouth like you're having a peppermint and that, that is definitely interesting. Um, I don't smoke it very often, but I do smoke it during the, the winter time because it is, it is that different. Um, Definitely something to to try one time. All right, so who here has tried this before? Uh, the one from last year, unless you already got the one from this year. I mean, the one from 2022. This is the 2024 one. Who has tried that? Um, I'll, sh I'll show you here real quick the components, see if that focuses very well. Like I said, he has the the two type of Orientals and then he has the Red Virginias from a crop in 2017. And then the special Latakia that uh, Jeremy processed out a little bit of the sut and a little bit of the herbs and things. You know, when they get an Oriental leaves and they make it into a Latakia, it goes to a process of five to six months of being burned in softwood uh, with they, you know, they put some herbs and whatever, and of course that takes a lot of the nicotine out, but it also adds this sut and flavors. And what he did was, um, you know, he put it to a different process to take a little bit of that out and get more of the oriental flavor to it. And that's the experiment with this Palmetto Balkan. There you go, Patrick. Yes, yes, Jim, thank you, you agree with me? Let me tell you, yeah, that that, that just took me by surprise. Uh, we did a video on it, you have to go to our Christmas, uh, I think it's called 13 days of, 13 blends of Christmas or something like that, and we tried that out, and, and uh, that, I've never tasted something as different as that. It's definitely, I mean, it even makes your breath minty, which I would never thought a tobacco would do that, so. Um, if you're interested, just ask me in a, or, or send me an email and I'll write it in here if you're interested in, in getting it. I'm sure it's easy to get. So yeah, uh, Patrick says what everybody's smoking. So let me know what everybody's smoking and what you're smoking it in. Uh, just kind of put your comment there. And also, um, I want to know if anybody has tried this from 2022. What do you think about it? You're free to tell your thoughts. Even if you hated it, it's okay. Um, free to, to, ex to express yourself here. And, uh, and if you've tried the one from this year, definitely, I want to know too. All right, so Yusuf is smoking his LCS with rum and honey. And uh, Patrick, oh, Mark, okay, Ben Barling with a bowl of 965. Hello, Mark. How are you? Q1 coffee. Smoke snack is working so he can be smoking. And what are you, you know, if you're drinking something with it, tell me what you're drinking. Right now, I'm just drinking water, that's all, for now.
Do I use a bulk coating when I when I buy a new pipe? No. Nope. I smoke them just like they are. This one has a coating, some don't. I just put the tobacco and I go to town. So very smoky, uh, even though it's a Balkan, uh, I, I smell the, that little campfire smell. Uh, the floral is there, but I mean, it's at least to me right now, it's, it's, it's minor in terms of the aroma. But the flavor is definitely very, very oriental, very Balkan forward for sure. So you definitely have to like that if, you, if, you, if you're going to get this. So you haven't tried this plan, okay? Who else we have here? B. Hendrix. What's the name of my local tobacco shop? I don't, I know I don't have one. I wish I did. I wish I did. I don't have a, a local brick and mortar. I would love to have one. I would be there actually doing a video and and, spo and sponsoring them and trying to you know get them promoted because I think we need to um, we need to promote. In the video the video kind of went frozen for a second there all right so for the ones that came in late it comes in a ready rub like that and again you can see clearly the different types Red Virginia, Orientals, and Larakia. Very easy to pack. Very easy to light up. I I I, I would consider this almost a, a stuff, stuff and stuff and puff. Mike Reese, welcome to the channel here. Talk with everybody. If you have any questions about this, again, this is coming out at 6 p.m. today. Uh, smoking pipes, cup of joes. Uh, I'm sure some of the other ones, maybe tobacco pipes, will have it. Wait, Mike has some seal Bella vanilla in his Missouri Meerschaum, so he's doing a cup cup Tuesday, how they call it. So this is smoking down pretty fast, actually. Um, this is a small bowl. So this may be more of a 30 minute smoke than anything. Um, I can already see it's, it's almost three quarters down and, and I've only been here, what, 18, maybe 15 minutes smoking. So because of that ready rub, it's actually going very fast. It's an easy smoke. I would say the nicotine is not gonna be on the high end, probably more mild to moderate. Orientals are medium in terms of nicotine. Virginians are low in terms of nicotine. Uh, Latakia is low in terms of nicotine. So this is not going to have a high nicotine kick. All right, so anybody here likes Balkan type blends? And again, let me know if you need me to explain what that is, if anybody's new to pipe smoking. Anybody likes Balkan type blends, meaning oriental forward blends, where you taste more of the oriental leaves more than anything else. As you guys know, I'm not much of a Virginia person, so I'm glad that the red Virginias, which actually I don't, I like them a little better than the bright and the yellow, 
Uh, they're more like in the background. So I'm enjoying that. So Smoke Snacks, this is a little softer than the Supreme, that's for sure. I think the, the Laraki is, is, is softening it up a little bit. So Yusuf, I, I, are you coming to the States? I hear that Patrick is gonna take you somewhere. Let us know. I think a lot of people will definitely like to meet you if you ever come all the way down here. If Especially if you come for a pipe show or something like that. Talking about pipe show, the next one is the Chicago one. I'll be attending in Lady Fire. Uh, we hope to have good Wi-Fi. I'm talking to the organizer, Tim, to see if we can get a password or something so that we can record live and, and show it to you. Now, this is a big show, so it might be a you know two, three hour uh, live while we go through all the tables and we'll see how we can do it. We might have to take a break in between, but uh, hopefully we can bring that to you. Uh, that's one of the shows that I yet have to done like that, where I record table by table. So that's uh, something that I want to accomplish. And uh, before maybe we, we might continue, we might take a break since we have covered all the big shows so far. That way you guys can go back and see them. And, you know, and, and decide for you that you haven't been to a show, you know, which one uh, you like. I'm actually going to do a video talking about the differences, uh, but that'll be later on. You're in Brooklyn. Well, Patrick, do you know that that uh, that uh, Lady Fire, she was actually born in Brooklyn. That's what she's originally from. Mm -hmm. uh, plans are up coming in 2025. All right, six months. Whoa, that's awesome. You're going to be here six months. That is, that's plenty of time to see, to see a lot of us. Are you going to, is this something having to do with work or just pleasure or visiting family? What, what are you coming here for? Um, Yusuf, other than of course, seeing all your friends in here. <laughs> We didn't know that, Patrick. Well, now you know. Oh, you're going to do a tour. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. I think this one needs a little more juice, but as you can see, even with that, it, it's such a reliable lighter. Have a great day, Mike. Thank you for being here. And uh, again, if anybody has a question about this, let me know. But so far, very true to uh, to what Jeremy said. Orientals are in the in the foreground. Everything else in the background is kind of smooth. Very easy. Um, tastes great. The taste is actually really good for our Oriental. Which normally they're not my favorite. The Virginias and the Orientals are not my favorite, but they did a good job. It's nice, it's nice and, and uh, light. You're a tourist, all right. <laughs> well, let me know if you are around the floor of that area. Depending where you come, that's probably where I'm going to be. I'm trying to get a uh, Florida Pipe Club started. Um, talking with um, Tim, he's in Pensacola. By the way, shout out to uh, Tim uh, School Tim School of Pipes. I think it's called his channel. New channel, very energetic guy. Uh, very good editing. He kind of makes his videos nice and short. You'll enjoy him if you haven't subscribed to him. Check him out. Thing is called like that, Tim's School of Pipes. 
He has another channel called Team School of Knives. No, Team School of Fish. And he talks about all kinds of things having to do with knives and things like that. But um, he started the second channel, Team School of of Pipes. And um, I think you like it, definitely. Yeah, you, yeah, Yusuf, I seen you commented there, so I know you're, you're sub to him. A lot of nice new channels, guys. Um, I don't know. I know, you know, sometimes it's hard to to watch all the pipe channels for sure, because more and more we, we have so many. But uh, lately, wow, great, great new channels. I, I just emailed with uh, Piper, Dave Piper. Or Piper Dave. Now I don't know. Dave Piper or Piper Dave. 2020, 2023. Great channel. Um, he even talks a little bit about investing and all that. Uh, um, very knowledgeable in that field. I actually have to listen to some of his videos because I'm interested in that for sure. But a lot of new channels. And I like the fact that, you know, they, the, you know, pipe is, you know, what we have in common, but everybody has their own little thing. You know, like I said, you know, Dave might talk about investing and the other one, you know, has the knowledge about knives and things like that. And, and, and everybody has their own thing. And that's good because there, there'll be eventually there'll be something for everybody. You know, if you like more of the business thing, you, you go with that person or maybe somebody else. Um, you know, talks about things that you like with terms of, of knives or maybe someone talks about, you know, and you kind of jive with them in terms of their religious belief or their political beliefs or whatever. I, I believe that uh, everybody should be free to talk about whatever they want on their channel. And then you have people that are going to like that. And, you know, you have your group of people that will enjoy it. And you're going to have people that won't. and But they're going to like another channel. So... Just like having a bunch of ice cream flavors here, I think we'll have more fun if we had all kinds of different flavors so everybody can you know can enjoy the flavor they like versus just having a, a vanilla ice cream party. So I like that, I'm glad. I'm glad that we have so many different channels with different interests and different uh, personalities and, and subject matter. So I'm, I'm happy for that for sure. There you go. That's what it's called. Piper Dave 2023. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. And anybody else that you guys know that is new, go ahead and shout it out in here so that we can, uh, everybody can easily click on it and, 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 and sub them and support them, especially the new guys. I remember, you know, when it was me being the new guy and uh, at the beginning you, you, you do your videos and you wonder. If anybody's watching your your content and uh, are you you know are you talking to air, and so it's encouraging at least at the beginning to to get a few people there so that you know that someone's enjoying what you're doing and and you start building a relationship and having some friendships. Uh, it's just a good feeling, you know. After a while, then you know, uh, as long as you have a group that you enjoy, it doesn't matter if you have you know, 200 or, or, or 200,000, you know, you'll have your group of, of friends, of new friends. And uh, again, I think that's what it's, what it's all about. Sapper Piper, yeah, I just saw somebody making a video, I think he, uh, 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 VR to Sapper Piper, so there you go, Sapper Piper. Bull Moose Piper, yeah. Now the Blind Piper, I haven't seen that one. I'm, I'm gonna have to check out on that myself, Blind Piper. Bill Ketch, yeah, I saw him. Uh, he put something out that he, he lost a lot of weight. I'm proud of him. I've been trying to do that myself. Um, and as that, yeah, and as that, Robert has been there for a while. But great channel and Smarty Bob and Ed Armstrong Piper and Uncle Willie, yeah. And Smoking Syed, <laughs> who was right here. Smarty Bob won the... Um, the new channel uh, award last year. And that's something I want to talk to everybody eventually again. Um, every year we'll be doing the Pipe Week Awards and uh, there's mixed feelings about that, whether 
people like it or don't like it. Uh, I tried next, last year to do it where you guys were voting, and, and I think that's what we will do. If we do it this year again, it's always the week right after Father's Day. You know, so Father's Day is on a Sunday, and then that week after. I think this year is either the 18th or the 19th, uh, something like that, of June, and then, or July. Now, now, now you got me thinking. Anyway, the week of Father's Day, um, yeah, and Flat Cap Piper, he's all right too, yes. Uh, <laughs> um, so, and, uh, and I wanted to do it more and more because one of the complaints people had, and I know people are going to complain no matter what, um, is that they didn't know, you know, who were the people picking the channels and voting. So what we made was so that you guys would vote. So again, first of all, I want to make sure everybody wants to do this again this year. I would hate it for it to die. I think it's a great thing. Um, and it's, you know, difference from International Pipe Smoking Day, this is about the pipe. So it's Pipe Week is so we can talk about this, about the pipe. And then uh, another award that I uh, have you guys vote for is, is a new, uh, not a new, uh, an artist and piper that you guys enjoy. Last year's winner was Phil. Phil Rivara was the winner. And uh, so what we'll do this year is whoever won last year doesn't qualify for this year. That way we get new winners. Uh, so uh, we could have that category. Oh, pipe, tobacco, and whiskey. Hello, my friend. We're trying the new 2024 Balkan. Let me know if you have any questions for anybody that comes in later in the, in the, in the show. Um, so anyway, talking about Pipe Week, uh, if we're going to do it. Um, eh, all right. You no complaints from Jim. You liked it. Um, yeah, that's another channel. Lady Fire's Kitchen for sure. Check it out. You, you might see my co-host in there. That's more about, you know, her recipes and cooking. If you guys want some new recipes, uh, you're going to enjoy that channel. Jack Ryan and Londo calling with Simon. Amazing channels for sure. Um, there you go. Pipe tobacco. Yeah, pipe tobacco and whiskey. Yeah, we're talking about channels to watch. So everybody that's here that sees this can go and check you guys out. And that was one of the things of Pipe Week 2 was to kind of bring about so new channels that maybe you don't know about and by people voting on them and nominating them, we kind of learn about new channels and you might find something that you like uh, in those new channels. So categories again for this year would be things like favorite artist and piper, new channel, uh, some channels are under 500. Um, I wanted to do a new category, which was the category for the pipe talk, meaning these are the channels that just put on the camera and just, you know, turn on the pipe and just talk. You know, it doesn't have to be too fancy or a lot of a lot of things. Just just a, a pipe talk channel, a pipe chat channel. I wanted to uh, to to that to be one of the categories uh, to kind of give a shout out to people that uh, that's and that's great. Some people love that, and sometimes you know they're they're the storytellers, and and those are great channels too. Uh, they don't have to be very fancy. Uh, so that was another category. And then I wanted to uh, uh, start a new category also about an energetic channel because we have a lot of these channels that they, they bring a lot of energy. I was talking about Tim School of Pipes and he's one of those channels where, you know, from the get-go, you know, they get you going. They bring a lot of energy and uh, I wanted that to make a category. But I want ideas from you guys, categories from the pipe channel. I'll talk a little more about that later, but I'm just using this right now to tell you. Uh, and if there's a good amount of people interested in this, we'll do Pipe Week again. Um, I want uh, some help. I want some ambassadors of people that are going to go out and, and promote it and talk to the other uh, channels and kind of, you know, on their channel say, hey, there's this thing called Pipe Week. We want you guys to participate. And I also want ambassadors to go to the, to the big um, pipe and tobacco places uh, I know MBSD is going to sponsor it because they usually say we're there. But maybe an ambassador, one of you guys, go-getters that can go maybe to, to Smoking Pipes and say, hey, how about you guys give a gift for one of the categories? And Tobacco Pipes and Cup of Joe's and uh, the Pipe Nook and, uh, and, and, and Pipe Stud and, and you name it, you know, and, and have 
them involved uh, and finally kind of put everybody together in this thing so again we can do a lot if we do it together if it's just me i'm just not enough um, I, I i will need you guys help There you go, Clay. Yes, how are you, my friend? Yeah. Red Tiger is a great story. Yeah, Volcados. How are you? I've never seen you before here. So welcome. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to, to the talk here and get to know everybody here and, and guys get to know him. Yeah, the Tiger was, uh, I think that you're talking about the one that was at the, at the Mule Town show that we... Uh, that we met there and, and recorded him and he just kind of came out of nowhere and, and such a great, what a character, such a great guy. So yeah, I already see Pipe Tobacco on Wiki say I would love to help out. Thank you. He works at the Gatlinburg earlier. Now, is this the Pipe Tobacco show in Gatlinburg? Or is it somewhere else? Because he said that what he wants is he's looking for um, uh, USA artists and pipe makers that he can have their pipes at his store and sell the pipes. He wants to sell pipes from, from, from the USA. Okay. I I I um I used to go to Gallenborough a lot. I I'm probably gonna go next year, so I definitely have to hit him up to make sure I know he's there when I go. Cause I think when I went, he he wasn't there. Cause I would remember him for sure. He's a good storyteller. Well, he definitely seems like someone that would tell a good story for because he uh he was just such a nice guy, and easy to talk with. Um, Donald Hughes, yeah, actually, Donald Hughes is from Houston. He's actually coming back into the scene. Uh, his work is permitting him to actually maybe do some lives again. And uh, he likes to do, uh, actually, it's coming up April Fool's Day. He likes to do some kind of challenge where he he uh, he tries something super extremely spicy <laughs> live and almost dies. But he, he does he does a great job and very entertaining. And he's a veteran. Oh, the Rampart Lion. He runs a shop and makes. Oh, okay. Where is he at? Smokes snacks. Where Where is this Rampart Lion? What 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 city? What What state? So, guys, this um, look at this. It, we start up here. Now it's all the way down there. This smokes pretty fast. I I I um, I don't think I'm smoking it that fast, but it's going down fast. I have to get this one a bigger, a bigger. So great, easy smoke. Very oriental, but actually very, um, very well balanced. I haven't gotten any weird flavor that I don't like at all. And again, I'm not a Virginia or oriental fan, but this, I think the way he put the Latakia in there, just kind of made it very, very balanced. So I'm really enjoying it. I missed it on 2022. I'm glad I got this 2024 for sure. Yeah, Phil Rivera, Patrick, he was the one who won last year. So he got the most vote last year. And what we'll do this year is we'll actually gonna separate the artists and pipe makers will do a category for USA and a category for international. That way, obviously, it's a little unfair since, you know, most of this is going to stem from my channel. The USA folks are going to get more votes. So we'll do two categories so that, you know, there's a winner that's an artisan USA based and an artisan, you know, kind of world worldwide. So. But like I said, I need help, so 
I'll do another video because a lot of people are not going to see this video since this is a live and it's going to say an hour long and people are just going to swipe by it and, and not click on it. I'll do a shorter video asking for volunteers and help so that, you know, this year we can actually make it more people know about it and more inclusive and, and, and hopefully I'll talk in that video, we can uh, dispel any of the worries or any of the things negative that people didn't like. Because uh, the whole point is to do this for the community. I mean, I don't get anything from it. I, I, I get just to spend a lot of hours preparing it. Uh, it's, it's something to unite, not to divide. Um, so I want to hear that feedback. What did you not like so we can change it, you know, for this year? Go back and watch them. There should be three there. One, the first one, Lady Fire and I did it. The second one was um, NYC Piper helped us out. Um, Peter Piper? Peter Piper NYC. Um, and then the third one we did last year. And, uh, you know, this will be the, the fourth installment of it. What can we improve? I mean, how, what can we get make it better? And if we can involve the big companies in it so that they can actually recognize us and talk about us, maybe in their in their um, website to say, hey, you know, the YouTube community is having Pipe Week. You know, this week we'll do a, a discount or something, for, you know, for the YTPC or for the YTPC and IG uh, Instagram Pipe community, IGPC, and, you know, include everybody so that there's that kind of collaboration between the big companies and us since we are, you know, we're the consumers that actually buy their stuff, right? So, again, anybody willing to help, that would be great. Uh, I'll do another video about it. Uh, Any questions about this Balkan? It's going to go on sale in a few minutes. I will say in about 40 minutes. Let me know. That was the, the major the major um, reason for this video. Just in case anybody didn't get a chance to get it two years ago and wanted to know what it was all about. Again, it's a ready rub cut. Uh, you can see the, the, the different leaves there, the reds, the orientals, and the latakia. It is definitely oriental forward. I just opened it. Maybe this is better to see. Yeah, that's what it made way better to see. It's kind of on the dry side, moisture-wise. Nicotine is mid to medium. The components of it are not, components that are normally high in nicotine anyway. Um, and it's, it's a pretty easy smoke. I mean, pretty easy smoke, definitely. Doesn't get hot too easy, although, you know, I was hearing from Jeremy Reeves, the guy who, who blended it, that, uh, you know, the Virginians in there have enough sugar content that he thinks that if you, you know, you take this and you jar it up maybe in, in three or four different jars, that in three to five years, you have, uh, you you will taste a little bit of difference and it might, it might help it out also uh, be even better. So, hey, take it from the horse's mouth. Um, thank you, Troy, appreciate it, I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you very, very much. And as you can see, some of the guys here are in blue. Those are the guys that a while back, we put as moderator so that, you know, if there's a trolling or something bad going on, they can quickly, you know, uh, get him out there so that you, you guys are not bothered by somebody just, just going crazy with some kind of pornography or profanity or anything like that. So, but if any of you are interested in becoming a, a wrenches or the, <laughs> or blue, let me know because I, I, I would love to have more that way when... Troy or Patrick are not here. You guys can 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 step in and help out. Help, especially when we go live where we both are are kind of busy. It's it's hard for us to to get in here and try to.
to you know take somebody uh, out of the chat. It really hasn't happened. Maybe one or two times where someone starts talking about something completely off. But the best thing is to ignore them. But if it really interrupts the chat, then the moderators help because they can just delete them. There's Texas Piper. Eddie, how how have you been? I haven't seen you in a long time. You got to go. You got to leave work early. And okay, what are you smoking? What are you enjoying there? Tell us. Texas Piper, another great uh, YouTube channel. That if you guys haven't uh, seen him, he is a great, great guy. All right. So I'm almost down to the bottom of the bowl. I'll keep smoking it all the way down just to see. Um, not much change. I would say from the beginning towards the end, I, I, a little more of the floral is coming out at the beginning. I think I got a little more of the Latakia there, but now towards the end, it's definitely more very, very oriental, very floral. Yeah. Smoking Bayou Morning Flake. Wow, I haven't had that in a while. Yeah, from beginning to the end, very consistent, very consistent blend. There's Trucking Piper. How are you, my friend? What are you? Are you off the road? Are you home? How's your shoulder? Oh, Jim, thank you. Oh, okay, we'll definitely, I'll stay in touch with you, Jim. Since we already email back and forth a lot, I'll definitely let you know and see if you can help me with that. That'd be great. So you got a pound of the palmetto last time. Yeah. You have enough to last you, yeah. It's actually, I mean, it's, it's not a... You're not a big Latakia fan. It's, it's, it's not as much Latakia as the Oriental for sure. They're, 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 they're the big players here. So I will say if someone completely hates Latakia, this might still be okay because it's, it's not at the forefront. It is there enough that makes me enjoy it since I like Latakia. Yeah, exactly. That's the whole thing that Jeremy wanted to simulate the Sierra Latakia and took it to another process, taking out the, the sadness. Definitely, yeah, I agree with you there, Eddie. Uh, it is definitely different than, than just your normal Sipian Latakia. So we'll see. I hope that he uses this uh, in other ones. I think it'll, it'll be a, a nice thing to see how he uses that process or to change, change the Latakia in something else. Maybe I make one very, you know, Latakia forward just to, I mean, for me, I know you, you don't like Latakia, but just to see the, the difference a little more prominent. 25 past 11 at night. Oh, we're running into your, 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 your sleep time there, Yusuf. I'm glad to hear that your shoulder's getting better there. You know, someone that I haven't seen in a while, Boris, I saw him on a, I mean, saw him on a chat, I didn't see him in, in life, of course, because he's there in Finland, but saw him on a, uh, in a sumo gym. That we have another sumo fan here, Boris. He used to be on all these pipe chats. I uh, haven't seen him in a while, if anybody has heard from Boris, but uh, I did see him on the sumo chats, and uh, he said that he was doing all right. Yeah, the Palmetto artwork, they did a great job. Very neat. Yeah, very clean cut, very neat, very neat artwork. Okay, so he was on Stumble Final Live. Okay, good. So he's doing well. That's 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 what's important.
Piper X One X, how are you from North Yorkshire? Yeah, I've been watching your videos. Actually, there was someone on Facebook talking that they enjoy your channel. Um, they were talking about the few channels they actually enjoy it, and they mentioned you. So awesome! Yeah, Patrick, we're here talking about this new Balkan that is gonna come out at, in about a. 30 minutes for sale and I was here just to see if anybody had any questions about you know what it was all about and to see if this is something that you might like or might not like. Not everybody likes Oriental forward blends and uh, and again this one has a little bit of Latakia so some people don't like that either. Another one that who doesn't sleep. <laughs> Yeah, another one, the guys that you haven't subscribed, check them out. Piper X1X. Big Smoke Field, that's another one, yeah. So for the ones that came in late, we're actually mentioning channels left and right here. Um, because as we can see, the, the community continues to grow. I mean, exponentially grow. Um, and I think it's a good thing for people to know that there's so many channels that way, maybe they'll find some that they, they like and, and they can support them. You don't have to like every channel, but I'm sure that with so much variety, you, you're gonna find some that you might enjoy and then just support those folks. And you may have something in common that you can talk about and maybe you find out that you don't live that far away from them and then you can start a pipe club like I'm trying to start in Florida. Um, and, and that's, that only grows the pipe community. Uh, that's, that's all you want. Welsh Piper. Yeah. Welsh Piper, Mark. He's a great guy. He's, he's very generous. I remember when he bought a bunch of the, uh, of the poker cards, um, that have the, the, the people, uh, some YouTubers and some pipe artisans mostly in there, and, and he kind of bought them and gave them out to people over there in, in the other side of the pond. And um, I think now he bought some keychains that he's going to give out too. So, yeah, Welsh Pipers, Mark is a very, very, very nice guy for sure. So, yeah. Uh, uh, like I said, I'll do another video, a shorter video. One, to talk about the giveaway, which I th think a lot of people don't even know about because when I talked about this in the live, and I think most people, they see the lives that are an hour, an hour and a half, and they just swipe. But there is a giveaway going on. I actually, I have them right here. Uh, I'll do another shorter video for the ones that didn't see it. We're going to give away a brand new um, Peterson from MBSD Pipes. They're the ones who are sponsoring this giveaway for the 3,000 sub celebration. And so far, I will say there's there's less than 10 people that have either done a comment or or a video on it. And uh, and I said if we got closer to 100 that we're gonna do, i give a second one at this beautiful Prince uh, Savinelli. But so far, not a lot of enthusiasm into the giveaway maybe i need to do a little short video so everybody can can get on it and know about it and these pins i want to give out some of these pins too i think they're pretty cool you can just put them on on your hat or put them on on your shirt um and i got all kinds of other stuff i want to give away i don't want to say everything because some of the stuff then youtube gets upset um let's see Trucken piper he says yeah Exactly. That's one of the reasons. Uh, hello, Tom. I, I, I'm, I'm so glad. I'm so glad you, you, you made it to join us. Awesome. Yeah, trucking pipers is a very important thing. As we grow as a community, then that helps the brick and mortars um, not go out of business because you know we can support them. I remember when I was in California, uh, you know, going to some of this. Um, stores and actually doing the meetups there and you know every time we were there we were supporting them we were buying the drink we we're buying whatever they had there 
This one in particular did not have a lot of pipe things, but we bought some cigars from them. And you know, again, maybe that that gets them uh, uh, motiv motivates them to bring some pipe stuff. <laughs> But uh, but yeah, that's we want the brick and mortars to to stay in business, especially the ones that are having pipe and pipe tobacco, because little by little they're they're disappearing. I mean, there's more there's more money in them in the cigar business, and unless we support them and and, and shout them out and bring people there, then they're they're not gonna carry pipe and pipe tobacco. So. So for the giveaway, um, I'm a Halo Four Leaf Whiskey. How are you, my friend? Another one that I had not seen before. So thank you for coming here. Meet some new people here, you see. And uh, guys, you guys get in touch there with Four Leaf Whiskey and make him feel at home. Um, so for the giveaway, um, all you have to do was either do a comment on the video that I put out. And again, like I said, I'm gonna do another shorter video so you guys can all see the ones that like to see things in shorter videos. Um, a comment or a VR talking about what can we do as a community to grow the pipe community. So one as a presenter, you know, what can presenters do? What can I do to make it better? What can I do in my channel to make the pipe community grow? As uh, you guys, you know, as the people that are just watchers, you know, what can you do? And as the big companies, what can they do? And I, I gave the example of me talking a long time ago to one of the big companies and, and asking about how can we do something together so that not only, you know, we talk about them and we promote them, but for them to recognize the YTPC and the IGPC and saying, hey, um, for example, it's Pipe Week, you know, and, and let's do a code for the YTPC or or thank you for the YTPC for whatever, whatever, just so that we are even recognized that we exist. Uh, it's kind of to give back for what we give them. And uh, the answer for at that particular time was that there was no precedence. And so that's it. That's all I got. I wanted more collaboration and, 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 and at that time I didn't get any. So... Um, what can we do so that's not the case, so that we can have, I mean, the more they know about this community, which YouTube, Google and YouTube is one of the, it is the most watched and, you know, social media in the world by millions, you know, it's where people go to get information to, you know, I'm sure that somebody, when they're thinking about a blend, they'll go and they write it on Googling and most often than not, what Google pops out is, is a YouTube channel talking about this blend. So um, if we're doing that, you know, of course, you know, it'd be nice for them to also recognize this community as a community about, you know, pipe smokers and about uh, motivating people about the hobby and what's, you know, what's good about this hobby. So, so anyway, that's what the VR is about. You can just give whatever opinion and that's, that's counts. And uh, if you if you comment, you get one. If you do a VR, you get two. If you're a channel that has never done a video, you get five entries. And if you just on your channel say, hey, there's this uh, giveaway going on at the Flat Cap Pipe channel, go over there, check it out, you get an entry. So again, um, just different ways to, to get in on the giveaway. And like I said, the more people participate, the more prizes I'll give out. Right now, we only have a handful. Uh, and so, so we'll, we'll have, um, we'll do more as, as I'm going to do it probably for a whole month. So I hope that answers your question, Trucking Piper. But anyway, you know that we, I think you, we have each other's uh, email information. So we can, uh, you can ask me more if, if, if you, if you want more details. So, yeah. So any, thank you, Eddie. Appreciate it. Uh, any more, any other questions on this? I think I smoked it down to the end. Let me see, because the last time, I, the last puff, I think I got some ash. Very easy smoke for you guys that that, that enjoy the Rientos. I think that's the main player. If you like Orientos and a little bit of Latakia, this is for you. If you don't like Orientos, definitely not for you. Yeah, there's still a little bit left there. This, the aroma. 
uh, I like it. It's, it's very oriental forward, so it's a little bit on the uh, floral side. And it's just an easy smoke. Very, very easy smoke, guys. You know, some some smokes have rough edges, and not this one. This one's kind of very, very nice and silky. And Jeremy says that it ages well, so that's what I'm going to do. There's plenty in here. Definitely, I can't smoke all this, so I'm going to jar it up and, and maybe... Um, and through different jars that way i have the one that i'm going to go to and then the other ones can stay there for three to five years like he said no no learn troy they're not going to have a, a small tin not on this one they made 2008 tins like this and that's it yeah 2008 ounce tin that's the only thing they're going to have it unfortunately i know that's uh that's definitely a a drawback and I, I don't blame you guys from because it is a big expense so definitely if if uh, you don't like orientals don't 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 make that expense because this is this is, I'm sure it's not gonna be on the cheaper side because it's big I mean some of these other ones actually have this on top of some of the other tins so some you know there some of them are going by that they did the same with the maple shadows which actually I enjoy but this is more by by Sutliff by Sutliff, is that right? I gotta get my glasses on, see what the heck. Uh-huh. Yeah, Sutliff. And they did the same with this one, the Black Thorn Chilele, and also by Sutliff. So, yeah, some they're gonna make in the in the bigger tin, some are, they're gonna make in the smaller. Uh, I don't know. I'm sure it's, 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 there's, there's a marketing business aspect to it. I w if, if it was me just for preference, I would like to have them both in big and small. Because some people, some people may not want to go through the expense of buying a big one. But on, on the other hand, most people, they go and buy three or four tins, five tins of it. So <laughs> there you go. I think this might be cheaper uh, if you think about it. Let's say most people buy four tins of something and it's $12, that's $48. And normally this is not $48, you know? Um, so it might be cheaper this way, you know, when, when you think when you think about it, so. All right, Matthew, welcome, welcome. Uh, this pipe is by Neil Monier. If you go to Instagram, it's called Garage Made Pipe Tool for anybody. And I'm telling you, because I, I have a big collection of pipes that wants a very well-priced and very well-made pipe. I recommend him hands down, eyes closed. He is great. His pipes are super sharp. Uh, he has them all nice and coated. And uh, I always wanted, actually, since I saw it, I said, you know, I, I want... A, and I told him, actually, this pipe was not something he already had made. I actually had to make it for me. I wanted to say, hey, I want a little vat from you. And I like when you put that little accent white on it, like fox ivory. And uh, and he did. And, and it is one of my favorite pipes. It is light. It is so perfectly well made. And I always get compliments on it. And uh, the price, the price you, you, you can't beat. So definitely talk with him. If you want a pipe like that, he he comes with the pipes all the time. He used to be at the shows. Uh, I haven't seen him lately, but I think I saw him way back at the either Chicago show or something like that. Uh, I think it was 2018. I haven't seen him yet. Yeah. I've been, I'm actually waiting some pipes. I just got from MBSD pipes lately. That's what I've been buying from if I want some state pipes. Um, and I'm waiting because I got one. I got one for Lady Fire. She doesn't know about it yet, um, but it is it is gorgeous. It's from a lady pipe maker from Iran, so I'm looking forward to seeing that in person. Um, and great price again for something like that. And I'm sure it's gonna look even better in in person. And then I got myself a a Vaughn pipe. Um, 
which I love the German uh, maker Vaughn. I've been buying more artisan pipes lately, but there's still some of the brand name pipes that are that are just great, and you just can't help it but but buy them, especially the state ones where you have a pipe that might have been five, six, eight hundred, or I don't know how much when it first came out, but now you know in the state market you can buy for a hundred dollars or or less and. Uh, they do a great job of selling pipes between sixty and one hundred and eighty dollars, uh, and that's a great, that's a great kind of at least for me budget, so I can buy more pipes. Uh, sometimes I stay there, sometimes I go above that range, but I try to stay there. That way I can buy different types of pipes versus just spending all my budget on one pipe. But nothing wrong against if you buy pipes that are more expensive. That's okay if you have the budget for it. You know, go go for it. That's just how I do it. Uh, I try to stay within budget for the most part, so I can, so I can get different types on my collection. Yeah. I just picked up twenty four state to fix and possibly sell. Oh, there you go. So there you go, guys. Another person to go to. Uh, Smoke snacks, and Smoke snacks is doing a some and this which is great uh, because you. Know, you, know, you can have it with you and that one when you're out and about this is another way to help the community grow you go to a for example a cigar shop or something like that and you're out there smoking a pipe and someone is for sure going to come to you and say oh my god that smells so good and and if you have this pipe kit you might you know kind of uh convert a, a cigar smoker into a pipe smoker with your little pipe kit. say hey, look i got this little pipe kit here here inexpensive you want to give it a try my treat and um uh, there you go. You maybe made a new friend and a and a and a new um, pipe smoker into the community. Uh, I'm gonna do a few with some basket pipes I've gotten from over the years, and I hope that when I go to Chicago, I pick up a few more of these basket pipes and maybe make some kits uh, so I have them ready to give out. Maybe do uh, something here on the channel for the newbie ones too. You'd be surprised, especially on Facebook, there's a lot of newbie pipe smokers that, that have all kinds of questions and would love to, uh, I, you know, sometimes, unfortunately, I don't know, I see them on other channels, I'm talking about some of the bigger, bigger channels, and they write a question and, and nobody answers it, and uh, I try to answer it there myself, but um, I, if I'm seeing some, I'm sure there's hundreds that I've not seen where the questions go unanswered. Some of them, they only ever get to see the bigger channels because of the YouTube algorithm. They never get to see a smaller channel. Uh, and, and when I talk smaller, including my channel, I have 3,000, but still I'm, I'm considered a smaller channel. When you go to the to the YouTube algorithm and, and put pie smoke or whatever, my channel is not one of the ones that shows up. So some of this newbies are not getting their questions answered. Um, so anyway, anytime you go to the bigger pipe channels and you see them answer the questions for them because they might not get get an answer, unfortunately. And on Facebook, uh, there is actually a, a Facebook page for the newbie pipe smokers and I try to go there and answer the questions too, to help them out. And they're very grateful, let me tell you. Um, very, very, very grateful for sure, so. All right, guys. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it's about 50 minutes until this goes on sale. So for anybody, you know, that's interested in this type, uh, get it before it sells out. It probably will sell out. And if not, I hope this was helpful for you to know what it was in. Like someone said, hey, I don't like Latakia. There you go. Don't do not buy it if, if you don't like Latakia or if you don't like the Oriental. So don't waste your money. Um, but that's what I do this video so you guys can know before it goes out on sale and you can make a decision. Thank you, Jim. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your financial contributions too. And uh, it says, don't forget twin pipe on the page. Yeah, Onion, that's another guy. There you go. So let's do that. Every time I do one of these lives, I'll try to do more often. Let's shout out everybody that we can so that people get to know more channels and that way we grow. We grow as a community. Yes, yes. Have a wonderful evening, everybody. I'm going to go back to studying, which I is kicking my butt. 
trying to get a, a business degree here and uh, man I haven't been in school in, 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 in so many years that it's, it's so different I think it's almost what I graduated in 1995 so it's been almost 30 years since I went to school and I'm going to school again so good lord all right, Piper 1X, see you later. Have a great, and everybody else, have a great day. Thank you. Flap cap out.